Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing two looks using the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. It is absolutely beautiful and one of those palettes that really surprises you. Especially these little pressed glitters. They are absolutely stunning and as you guys can see, you're going to get a lot of use out of this palette because you have quite a bit of warm brown shades, which we all love, let's be honest. And then you're getting your fun pops of glitter. And then you have this really beautiful super shock shadow that you can use as a highlighter under your brow bone corner of your eye or all over your lid if you're wanting that really glossy eye look without the gloss. So if you guys want to see the two looks that I created with this palette, then let's go. I've prepped my eyes with my MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. And I'm going to go in with... A MAC 224 and I'm going to take the shade Catch Me, which is this pretty neutral shade here. I'm going to take the color West Side, which is this shade here. And oops, I'm going to take the same brush and apply that to the crease. I'm going to take the Smith Cosmetics 230 brush and I'm going to take the shade Feel Free. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush I'm going to go in with the shade Garden Date, which is this really pretty peachy shade here. And I'm going to press that onto my lid. I feel like this color would do better being pressed on by my finger. Let's see. Yep. I have to say, so far I'm really impressed with just how these shadows are blending. I'm happy with this palette. So it's a sequence. It's a sequence. They're Pat McGrath. He's finding sequins on the floor and bringing them to me. It's probably like, uh, excuse me, when are you gonna vacuum your studio? Mira, cómo se ve, mamá. Bonita. Gracias. He's handing me my brushes and dancing. He's like his mama. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Ooh, I just dug into. This is one of their super sharp shadows. I'm actually going to take this and apply it to the inner corner. It's just a little hint of sparkle, nothing crazy. But I'm going to throw this out because I don't want to keep digging into that shadow and I can see me doing that. So I am going to add a little bit of liner. And the liner I'm going to use is the roller lash and then apply my mascara all right guys so this is the first look that i have created with the sweet talk palette and i have to say i'm very happy with it i like it a lot it was easy to blend and this is probably going to be the more wearable look 
And if you guys want to see what other looks I have, then let's go. All right, guys. So the second look with this palette. Um, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is by Royal Langnickel, and this is in a BOM45. I'm going to go back in with the lightest shade in this palette. This I'm using to set my primer. I have on the um, MAC Paint Pot in Lane Low. And this color on me reads a little like a peachy shade. It doesn't really look like a neutral tone on me. It really doesn't look like a natural tone on me. You can kind of see that it has a little bit of a pink finish to it. I got a little bit of shadow on my brow, which is fine. I, I don't mind the way it looks. Okay. So now I'm going to take mm, the same brush and I'm going to go in with the shade. Let's use metal. And I'm going to pop that into the crease. This palette screams spring to me. Now I'm going to take the shade Dressmaker, which is this color here, and I'm going to use the same blending brush I've been using, and I'm just going to take this right at the edge, and I'm just using this to diffuse that color just a little bit more, and I am bringing this color a little higher than I like. Technically, you should, if you have a larger lid space, the ideal placement for your crease colors is high enough to where you can see it. I am the person that likes my makeup to be a little bit more subtle. So even though this doesn't look crazy, I mean, you can definitely see the color. It's preference, people. It's preference. Okay. I am going to take... I don't know what I'm going to do. I know everybody probably wants to see these pressed glitters and... Uh, this super shock shadow in motion. I'm actually going to take this BOM 43 and I'm going to take this super shock shadow and put that under my brow and I can't even see the name of that anymore. Oh, side to side. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to place this color just under the arch. And then I'm going to blend it out a little bit so that it's not just concentrated there. I mean, it's glitter. Why did I do that? Actually, it looks really pretty. No regrets here, hashtag no regrets. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, um, I don't know. Let's take Prima Drama which is this really beautiful color. Look at that. And I'm gonna actually apply it with my finger because I know better. Oh my goodness. Guys, this glitter is life. Holy hell. It applies so smooth. There's very little fallout. Like this is, you. I didn't even put down a glue for glitter on my lid. So I really expected more, but there's hardly any fallout. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other shade in here, which is called Early Morning. And I'm going to place that on the outer, like mid to outer part of my eye. Oh 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I'm kind of marrying the two glitters in the center and then bringing the rest of it out. Wow. Wait till you see this. It is so freaking pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with this blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade Feel Free. No, let's go in with a different one. Let's go in with I See Me or I See My, this shade. And I'm gonna just place that into the crease just to kind of give a little more dimension to this. And then I'm not, I didn't bring that um, glitter all the way up into the crease because I, that's gonna just cause fallout. I'm just touching up where I feel like I need some more glitter in my life. Okay, wow. So I'm gonna do a liner and the liner I'm gonna be using is this roller lash, no, what is this called? Roller liner and mascara and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look. I decided to go with a pretty dramatic wing and um, if you're wondering what's on my lip, it's ColourPop Ariel and um, I really like the way it turned out. I kept everything pretty neutral because I really wanted the focal point to be this eye look and I like the way it looks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I would definitely tell you that this is a must. This palette is absolutely stunning. And considering that it's $18, you're getting a nice variety of options in terms of textures. Like you have your two glitters, your, um, I forget why, like <laughs> this is a Super Shock Shadow. And then you're getting a nice variety of warm, um, browns and really like even like this shade that I haven't played with yet this is a really pretty shimmer shade that I haven't even played with but I think that if you're looking for you know something that is going to give you your natural looking looks but also give you the opportunity to have some fun with your um, shadow this is absolutely a must this is beautiful palette they did a great job and that's all i have to say for it so i hope you guys enjoyed these two looks and really the only other look i would have done with this is just like a probably a brown smoky eye um so i'm not even going to do that because let's be honest you guys really just wanted to see the way the glitters work and i will advise you use a glitter glue after continuing with the rest of my makeup, I do see that I'm getting quite a bit of fallout and it's not pretty. So, all right guys, um, please be sure to like this video, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will talk to you guys in my next one, bye.